before I apply any makeup, I use the proactive three-step program, which is to cleanse, tone, and repair. Now, I have quite oily skin, and what I've noticed uh, with these products is that it does dry your skin out quite a bit. And for me, with my oily skin, I was really surprised. Um, so just be careful with that. And which leads me to moisturizer. Always, always, always moisturize your skin before applying makeup. No matter if you have dry, oily, or combination skin, you always moisturize after you wash your face. Because after you wash your face, your skin is stripped of its natural oils, so you want to replace it. And once it's stripped of those oils, what it does, it, it, your skin works harder to replace those oils, so it keeps pumping out all these oils and you just get a slick face. So that's why you want to apply a moisturizer before your makeup. The next part I'm going to tell you is really important. After you apply your moisturizer, let it sit in your skin for three to five minutes. You want it to completely soak in before applying any makeup. Now, the next thing is primer. Now, primer isn't essential, but it does help your makeup. I have two here. Uh, this one is a Maybelline one, so it's more of a drugstore chemist brand. And then this one is my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Face primer is more suited to people with oily skin because it helps keep your foundation on all day looking nice. Plus, it's good for people with large pores. Now, I have large pores around here and around here, and I really hate that. So that's another reason why I use primer. Now, this is when we get into the real makeup part, um, foundation. With foundation, you have many different types. So you have powder, you have mineral, you have liquid, you have creamed powder, um, so many different types and you want to choose a type of foundation which suits your skin. My favorite foundation is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Foundation for oily to combination skin. The color I use is 180 Sand Beige. Now it's a medium to heavy coverage. Um, it lasts a really long time. It has an SPF of 6. The only thing with it is that it dries very quickly. So you have to work quickly with it. Now to apply your foundation, especially with liquid foundation, you can totally just use your fingers. That's what I used to do. But then I discovered the Sigma F80 flat top Kabuki brush. And it is awesome. It's like really dense. So it really buffs in the foundation into your skin and gets rid of all those lines and everything. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my moisturizer. Now I'm going to apply my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So now that I have my moisturizer and my primer on, I'm going to apply my liquid foundation. Because this dries so quickly, I just get a little bit at a time and I dot it on my face, just in one section, and then I use the brush, the F80, to buff it in. You want to make sure you get it right into your hairline, your ears, and make sure you blend it down your neck because there is nothing worse than seeing a girl walk past and she's got this line of foundation around her chin. Oh, it's horrible. Now keep in mind that foundation is not to cover every single imperfection on your face. It's just to even out your skin tone. Now what we use is concealer. 
Now I recently bought the Garnier Anti-Dark Circles Under Eye Concealer and I really like it. I think it's really cool. It's got this little ball here. You can see that. And then you just put it on underneath your eyes and it's really cold. So it feels really nice. It's uh, supposed to help um, puffiness under your eyes as well. But I don't have puffiness, so. And then I just use my, my ring fingers to very gently, very lightly dab it onto my skin because the area underneath your eyes is very um very delicate and for any other blemish i have i use my revlon color stay blemish concealer this one is a bit old and it's almost used up and i just put those on any blemishes i have since using my proactive my skin has been behaving quite well all right after that you want to set your foundation with a powder uh, I'm using my Mac blood pressed powder which is it is colored but it goes onto the skin translucent so it's okay and I, I just use I know a lot of other people use a a brush to apply the powder but I just use the little thing that comes with it because I like the idea of actually pressing it into my skin and making my skin completely matte I all right now we've done our complete face now we're going to get into the rest of the Okay, first what you want to do is take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese, which is a shimmery white. And we want to place that on our inner eye corner. I should have done this first, but I forgot. Um, what you want to do first is take a eyeshadow primer. I'm using my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, but lots of different companies make um, primers now. Um, Too Faced makes a primer and ELF makes a primer. Uh, NYX does as well. So you don't have to buy Urban Decay Primer Potion. I just know that it's pretty much the best. So we're going to place that all over our eyelid. Okay, so what primer does on your eye is that, think of it like an investment. So it's going to make your eyeshadows last longer. It's going to make them not crease as quickly. It's going to make them more bright. So primer is definitely worth the money. So you don't need much. See, that's all I got on my finger, just a little bit. And I'm going to place that all over the lid. A little goes a long way. A great palette for um, beginners with makeup is the Coastal Scents 88 Original Palette. So, this palette, for me in Australia, this palette Oh, cost I think just under $20 around $18 and then about $11 for postage but it comes with all of these gorgeous pigmented colors so you've got silvers and browns and reds and purples and blues and greens and then your neutral colors but it's absolutely perfect for uh, people who are just starting out with makeup and don't know what to buy. So this palette pretty much has every single colour you could ever want. So I'm just going to take my Sigma E55 which is a really good brush um, just to put down colour on your eyelid. And we're going to take this colour here which is just a, a beigey peachy colour. And we're going to put that all over our lid. 
Now on the opposite side of that brush, I'm taking this lightest shade here and placing that on my brow bone to highlight it. Next I'm taking my E25 and using this shade here which is a, a shimmery um, tan uh, brown and we're going to place that on the outer half of the eye and then up into your crease. This gives your eye a bit more definition, a bit more depth. You always want to place more than two colours on your eyelid. That just gives you yeah, some more depth and definition. Now I'm taking my E30, um, which is a pencil brush, which is great, great for your outer corner and your crease. And I'm taking this purple shade here. All of the colours in this palette are really, really pigmented and great. So we're just going to place this on the outer corner of your eye and just blend it, blend it up. Don't worry about being a bit messy because we're going to blend this all out. Now take that same brush that you had before and we're just going to blend all of those harsh lines. You never want harsh lines with your with your makeup. You always want to blend them out with a big fluffy brush. Taking that same purple shade and my flat definer, my E15, yeah E15, I'm going to place this on my lower lash line. Kind of use it as a as an eyeliner. Just not as not as harsh as an eyeliner. And plus it adds more more color to your eye. Next to line my eye, instead of using black, I'm going to use purple. Now this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Eggplant which I just love. It's so beautiful. It's a lot softer than using just harsh black. And plus we already have purple on the eye, so this is going to look great. And I'm using my E65. So just starting with small, small strokes, getting as close to the lash line as possible. Next I'm going to use my Revlon Custom Eyes Mascara. Alright, for blush I'm going to use my Maybelline Mineral Power Naturally Luminous Blush in Fresh Plum. So it comes like this and I'm just going to tip a bit into the cap. Now I'm going to take my Sigma F10 powder brush and I'm just going to swirl it around in the cap to make sure all of the blush gets evenly distributed on the, on the brush. Otherwise, if it's all splotchy over the brush, then it's going to go on splotchy and then you're just going to have these purple or red dots all over your face and it's just not cute. <laughs> so now you're going to smile and find the apples over your cheeks So the highlighter I am using is the NYX, NYX Mosaic Powder, looks like that, and I'm going to use my Sigma F35, and then just put it right here, where the light is going to hit it, and then you might want to drag some up here to your temples, and see how the, the light is catching it right there. Yep, that's exactly what you want. Now, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with lipstick. I find they really dry out my lips. So what I like to do, a trick I learned from my mum, is to apply a moisturizing lip balm underneath. So I like to use my Avon Color Trend um, Lip Balm in Delicious Berry. gives my lips just some more moisture. 
And now I'm going to use my Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi. This is a super pigmented colour. Look at that. That's insane. We don't have these in Australia yet. Apparently they're coming out this month sometime. Um, but I got this one off eBay. Now because this one is so pigmented, I don't, I don't want that bright colour. So I'm just going to put it on very, very gently. Not, not full on. Just dabbing it on, really. Okay, so this is my look for my Back to Basics tutorial. Um, it's very uh, simple, but I didn't use neutral colours. I just added a pop of colour in there, which is really easy for beginners. Um, so now, after my day, to take off my makeup, First, I use a bit of a scrub, um, I think it's by Garnier, and then after my shower, then I use, to take off my eye makeup, I take off my Alme non-oily eye makeup remover, and that's really good stuff. Then again, I use my three-step proactive um, program, and then after that, you want to put on a night cream and an eye cream. My mum always taught me that you need to start out early with your eye cream and your night cream. So, I, for my eye cream, I use um, a new clinical eye lift gel. And this stuff is really cool because it has two different gels. So, this, this you use um, underneath your eye. And then this orange stuff use on your lids and on your brow it's really good stuff and then for the rest of my face and my neck and also the back of your neck I use solutions ageless alkylade recontouring night cream which is a really nice creamy gel like moisturizer okay so I think that's about it so that is my whole process right from beginning right to end to um, cleaning my face in the morning and moisturizing and then all of my makeup and then how I take my makeup off and look after my skin it's really important to start looking after your skin early um, trust me you'll thank yourself later <laughs> So thanks for watching this tutorial, I really hope I've helped out some beginners out there and let me know if you want me to do any other kind of tutorial or anything. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, thanks, have a nice day, bye.